Hi guys, I'm Ayush. I'm Sandy. I'm Rob. And I'm Dr. And today we'll be showing you Chore Bounce by Two Camp Technologies. So uh, here we have Miss Smith, right? She has been working the same 9 to 5 job for the last 8 years, but today is different because today uh, she's been shown an opportunity by her boss. If she makes an astounding presentation at tomorrow's meeting, she'll get a promotion, right? So she goes home and she immediately just wants to start working on this presentation so it'll be perfect, but she can't. She can't because her cute son, Archie, hasn't cleaned his room or done any of his chores around his house. So Miss Smith has to spend all this time cleaning up her entire house and cleaning up Archie's room, and so she's tired because she stayed up late working on her presentation, she doesn't get the promotion because she fell, fell asleep in the middle of it somehow. <laughs> and uh, all, because, all because Archie didn't do his chores. So what if there was a way to help Ms. Smith, help Archie, and help thousands of parents who have this problem around the world? Introducing Chorebound. So Chorebound is an engineering app designed by Toucan Technologies, which allows children to use their competitive spirit, earn points, level up, and gain incentives all by doing chores. It, Chorebound is unique because it uses competition to teach kids about financial and household responsibility, uh, responsibility while at the same time reducing stress and workload for parents. Now with Zach for the app demo. Okay, so I'm Archie and I want to create an account. So I would simply go to the new user and choose a child account where it will give me a six digit PIN number so I can connect my account with my parents. And I like monkeys so I can choose a monkey as my little interactive character. So I can go to chores and tasks and see what my parent has assigned me. I can see washing the dishes or putting away shoes. And I can tap on putting away shoes and see it will earn me 25 cents, but my parents have not yet approved it. To see what they have approved, I can tap approved chores and see like I washed the dishes at 11.14. Um, to see what I can earn, or what I can do with my money, I can go to rewards and see that I can buy a remote control car for $12 or ice cream for three. If my parent wants to sign in, they can go to the accounts and users page, where they can tap their um, their picture, type in their PIN code, and then they can see what I've done, what I haven't done, and what they need to um, approve. They can also easily add new rewards. So one of the largest competitors that Chorebound has right now is Chormon. Chormonster is an application where it's uh, a big game, and if children do chores, then they uh, earn points and rewards that go towards that game. The, the problem with Chore, Chore Monster, and parents have expressed this through reviews, is that parents don't have the ability to randomly add and take away points for good and bad behavior, and the interface is clunky and crashes often. So to improve our product and make it actually better than Chore Monster, we've added all the features that they actually don't have. So for example, uh, the parent or the kids themselves can create their own tasks, which adds and in, like increases their own responsibility. Because as they get older, the app will basically evolve with them. So as they have more and more activities that their parents uh, can't keep track of, like homework assignments and things like that, they can go ahead and add them themselves and then check them off when they're done. So they know they've gotten everything complete. Also, there's the adding um, and taking away points manually. For example, if the child behaves badly at a house party or something like that, they can take away points. While if they behave well at a house party, they can add points. There's also a customized reward system. So the rewards are tailor made to the kids themselves. So, for example, like uh, Clash of Clans, um, uh, like a little like gift card type thing would not be or incentivize or create an incentive for one kid, but it might for another. So the parents can change it back and forth just to make sure each kid is actually getting what they want out of it. There's also um, a competitive spirit where you can compete with your siblings where like you can see who's done the most chores this week and who's done, done them the fastest. And there's also can, can be like inter-family competitions like between different families to see which family's done the more chores. And there's also the financial literacy, which is probably the most important. So the kids earn their currency so that they can spend it however they like. So they learn the value of money and when to save and when to spend. So it increases the whole financial responsibility aspects. So Chorebound's current plan is to have a free app which will have basic task management functionalities. We will have an in-app purchase to upgrade which will be around $199 to $399, which will have a host of features that Zach explained before. So in the future, we hope to partner with other uh, bigger game companies so that our in-game currency can directly relate to their um, in-game uh, currency, such as like points or coins for Clash of Clans. Also, we have to integrate a smartwatch technology, so that once a parent gets a notification that a chore is complete, they can just look at their wrist and check it off, as opposed to pulling out their phone and doing it that way. So one of our big, one of the um, biggest problems will be our funding. 
So for the iOS and Android platform, for developers to make the app, it will be $72,800. So that, that's what we need. And so you can check us out at toucantech.net to try our live demo and also to contact us for more information. Also, just try to ch check us out for updates at Twitter and Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. With chore bound, your chores will be a success. I can jump on this one. Um, you know, I just moved here from Cincinnati, and Chris is the founder of Chore Monsters, my friend. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm looking at the, the funding. Are you guys going to be a part of the developers, or you, know, uh, you guys working on the app? Well, I mean, the thing we've designed right now that we just showed you was mainly uh, to give a rough structure of what the app does. But okay. we really want uh, that professional aspect, like professionals to be involved in the development of our app. So that's why I guess our funding. So it's more streamlined and it's easier to use. We actually made the like the outline um, through Marvel, if you've heard of Marvel app. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like an outline software. Okay. Um, and what's the customer acquisition like for you guys? So how are you guys going to get parents to use this? Or how are you guys engage them? So primarily, I guess through our website, uh, if we do search engine awesome optimization, as other groups have mentioned, then we can uh, get parents to our website. We can uh, they can see our product and hopefully you know. And additionally, we can spread the word to parenting sites. Hey, and say like, hey, look, we have this neat app. We've we also we also established a Facebook and a Twitter, and so hopefully using those social media, we can extend to parents. Well, yeah. Okay, so Facebook, Twitter, you guys should look into Pinterest, and again. Um, you might want to try to get creative of how to get in front of parents uh, beyond just search engine optimization. Uh, again, just looking at blogs, PTAs, schools, wherever you think your key demographic are going to be at to market to them. But this is good, this is interesting. I can, <laughs> I'm not going to say it to Chris, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just heard about True Monster like a week ago, and a friend told me about it how he has it set up and it was really interesting to me so I got it. I did have a problem, uh, it is buggy. Um, and I can show that with you. Yeah. But, but it looked really neat and um, I, a couple of things I guess, I mean just from what I've seen in Trill Monster, this looks really similar, uh, but it's probably green fields, there's probably lots of opportunity out there. In terms of uh, finding different customer, uh, distribution, customer distribution strategies, I would think about maybe uh, making it built in in your app to give points to kids who invite their friends, to get their families. Like if they get their family on it, you know, they get stuff in the bank. Kind of like Dropbox did a long time ago. If you know, get somebody to sign up for Dropbox, kind of get some free storage forever. I just wonder if there's some aspect to this to okay, basically sort of get, get people excited. Um, I think uh, the other thing that I would have imagined if I got True Monster Logo for me would would have been if I could have seen auto populated. <laughs> no, I'm right. I get that. Yeah. Something else. I so, can ask. Guess about that. so I think if um, if I had seen chores auto populated from other parents, almost like um, things that I wouldn't think of. I mean, I can think of sitting the table, feeding the dog, cleaning up room, that stuff. But sometimes um, when I when a friend told me about chore monster, he had a couple ideas that I would have never thought of. And I think you have all this metadata from what your whole user base is doing. I think it'd be interesting to pre-populate chores and rewards. Like, so you can see like best practices across parents. Yeah, we, we actually had some default um, yeah. chores that we we're going to put and also default rewards. Okay. So it's customizable, but there's always that default setting. Uh, I, I think his point, oh, sorry, but I think what he's getting at is as you acquire more users and they type in their own custom uh, chores, you guys might want to index that data and then feed it up to new users that can think about it. Uh, yeah, so, you know, again, great evolution over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and I'd really like to see that you took the feedback that you got from uh, the team and the mentors here and built it into your presentation. So it looks like you've learned a lot through the process, so that's really good. Uh, I think iterate like the distribution channel, trying to get creative is really hard to get traction in the app or the store and figure out if you can do some creative partners. I think we talked about can you partner with the Procter & Gamble, or you can partner with you know, big brands that are already trying to get to that market. Um, to, 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 you know, try to get more traction here. Uh, and then really understand the, the sort of the distribution model through that.
about the store because it's not as easy. You know, you've got to go through a lot of hoops to, to get in there. And see if you can build out some other ancillary products around this because I think this is such a pain point for parents. Um, you know, understanding how they're coming at this, uh, not just from chores or other activities. I think it's a di distribution channel. So maybe look at large companies. You did this highlight of the stressed out mom. You know, maybe partnering with companies that have on-site daycares or any other things like that. Uh, thanks, Al. That was the demo was beautiful. Yeah, we're kind of blowing us away about how great everything looks, but we know better than to get fooled by the demo. So we're not going to ask about that. Um, this is, there's actually been a lot of people trying to solve that app chore problem for a while. There's a few companies doing it. Um, also, I trust all of you to operate that demo or use that app perfectly well. I do not trust your parents, right? Everyone in this room is awesome, so we all can handle this stuff, I'm sure. But your market, I mean, this is a fairly complex set of exchanges and interactions between different groups with different interests and needs. And so I would just warn you that you guys saw your competitor, and I love it that you went and found the comments about them and how to improve upon them. But your solution was to add more features on top of that. I strongly suggest that what you guys should think about is removing things and making it more simple and more clear and clean and easy to understand so that not only do the, uh, the kids understand the UI and UX, but the parents do as well. Um, there's also this kind of reeks of a, we're trying to use technology to solve human behavioral problems, which is a thing that's been happening forever. But you know, it's great to get that first sale when a parent who's stressed out buys this thing with the hope and promise that it's going to get the kid to do the chores. But if it doesn't continually serve that need, it's going to be a one-time sale, right? And we want this to be a long, a sustaining, kind of revenue-generating enterprise. So I would be thinking about that. Uh, and just be, be way, very wary of, of getting too complex and too much stuff. And I think that simplifying and making it so that all parties can use it and use it well is one of the things I think about. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.